Yo, we're here in our super spooky backyard next to our super spooky back alley set to teach you one really cool practical tip about how to light particulate matter in the air. That's fog, like the fog from this super cool fog machine I bought at Walmart for 40 bucks, or smoke, or dust, or rain. Why do you care about this, you ask? Well, if you're making a spooky movie and you want to have spooky physical effects that you shoot on set, you need to know this one tip. I can't tell you how many times I shot actors getting completely drenched in torrential downpours only to look at the footage later and realize that you couldn't see the rain. And that's because I didn't know the one super secret tip to lighting particulate matter in the air that was discovered by a mom. And that's the backlight. So come with me. Normally, when you're shooting something, anything, you put the light behind the camera. And that's important for two reasons. Number one, it make the light get on the face. And number two, it make the light stay out of the shot, which is important because you're making a movie. But when you're shooting particulate matter, like fog from a fog machine, or smoke, or dust, or rain, you need to put the light on the far side, behind what you're shooting, behind the cloud of particles in the air, wherever they may be. That's called backlighting. The light is in the back. And if you do that, it can take your fog, your spooky midnight Dutch angle fog shots from this. To this. See how much spookier that looks? Yeah. Now, it's a little stylized, obviously, but you're making a movie about a reanimated walking corpse. Be stylish. Yeah. And your rain shots from this. Frankenstein sad and lonely in the rain. To this. Rain. Better looking rain. So spooky. Now get out of here, you little rascals. Watch our video about how to make fake blood and use that and this knowledge to make some cool, spooky little shorts for you and your perverted little friends. And then send them to us so we can get totally spooked out as well. And talk to us on Twitter or Facebook, because that's important.